I am Dr. K. Amuda from Biochemistry Department. In today's topic, we can see the interpretation of result. Mostly, many tests were conducted quantitatively. Quantitative in the sense, so every amount of analyte was done, the sample is that is called as quantitative analysis. And not only quantitative is present, some of the tests are also available for qualitative. Qualitative abdina, example we can take sugar. So, if sugar is not available, we can color reaction test. Then, if it comes as a positive, then we can go for quantitative. So, after that, we can find out how much amount of analyte is present in the sample. So, qualitative, it is a color reaction to know whether irka illia abdin terensikite, adh kapro yevulo irke abdin number one to quantify pano, and that is called as a quantitative analysis. Many tests measures the amount of analyte in the volume of the sample. The sample may be blood, serum, or plasma, urine, and even some other fluid or even some other tissues. The test results are expressed in molar units. A mole of any compound always contains 6 into 10 to the power 23 molecules. So when you want to describe this, it is how much of an analyte is present in moles indicates how much moles of substance are present. So simply we can see 1 mole is equal to molecular weight of substance in grams and this is expressed or the results are reported as concentration usually in terms of number of moles per 1 liter. So next the changes in the concentration that is changes in the concentration of the solute varies in two reasons. One is the amount of analyte can increase or else when that the amount may decrease or else the volume of the fluid in which the analyte dissolved can similarly change. So the ethanol of Rom Dina or a solution dissolve and analyte when that one increase or decrease or decrease or decrease and the analyte dissolve and the solution one that change are clear other one that only increase are clear or else one that decrease are clear these are the two reasons so substance we are going to express in terms of moles next when you come for the enzymes enzymes are not expressed in moles but they are expressed in terms of units in enzyme, the enzyme assays are carried out in such a way the activity is measured is directly proportional to the amount of enzyme. When we see hormones, the hormones are measured with a standard reference preparation of known biological potency and this is also expressed in terms of units. Then coming on for the proteins, we can say proteins are the last molecules, right? And these proteins are reported in terms of milligrams or else we can go for grams. Next, blood gas. The blood, blood gases are PCO2 or PO2. And this is expressed in terms of kilopascals. Then partial pressure are measured in terms of units. So next coming on for variation in results, the biochemical measurements vary for two reasons. They are analytical variation and also biological variation. Next is laboratory analytical performance. There are number of terms describes biochemical results. These includes precision, accuracy, sensitivity, specificity, quality assurance and then the last one is reference range. 
So first we will see what is precision. The precision is the reproducibility of the analytical method is called as a precision. If we will see an example, if one technician performs glucose analysis on a sample that is a sample should be the same sample on three different occasions when he obtains the result as 100 milligram per deciliter on the next time when he gets a result as 99 milligram per deciliter and for the next time the result as 101 milligram per deciliter the results have been produced very well and the precision is also good the result scatters shows the presence of a little skill and even in some cases the results are close but not to the target this precision depends on the techniques and the reagents it is used for the techniques as well as on the technical ability of the technician it is accuracy it is the closeness of the result to the true value that is called as accuracy namak varapora result vandu true value ku evlo close a irukko that is called as accuracy for this also we will take an example if one technician performs a test on a serum which is known to contain 100 mg per deciliter of glucose so the normal level enna appadina it is 100 mg per deciliter of glucose if one technician performs the same test and he or she produce a result as 99 mg per deciliter and the other technician also performs the same test and he gets a result as 95 mg per deciliter here the value of the first technician is considered as accurate so one test two technician panna poranga the normal value on the test is 100 mg per deciliter of glucose so the two technicians are going to test the test now the result is 99 mg per deciliter and the other technician is 95 mg per deciliter now the value is the true value that is 100 mg close and that result is called as accuracy next we will see sensitivity Sensitivity refers to how effective the test is in detecting individuals who have the disease in question. And this is expressed as a percentage of true positive in all the individuals who have disease. So simply when you want to say this, sensitivity abdina is the ability of the test to correctly identify those with the disease that is true positive rate and sensitivity is equal to true positive by true positive plus false negative into 100 a test with 100 percent sensitivity correctly identifies all patients with disease now coming for specificity it is the ability of the test to correctly identify those without the disease that is true negative rate the following terms are fundamentals to understanding the utility of the clinical test so we will see what uh, true positive is false positive true negative and false negative so true positive is the patient has the disease and the test is positive and false positive is the patient does not have the disease but the test is positive true negative is the patient does not have disease and the test is negative so false positive false negative is the patients have the disease and the test is negative so specificity is equal to true negative by true negative plus false positive into 100 next is quality assurance every laboratory takes 
great pains to ensure that the method in use continue to produce reliable results. Laboratory staff monitor performance of the assay using quality control samples to give reassurance that the method is performing satisfactory with the patient specimens. These are internal quality controls which are analyzed every day or every time an assay is run. The expected values are known and the actual values obtained are compared with the previous value to monitor the performance. The external quality assurance scheme identical samples are distributed to laboratories and the results are compared. In this way the laboratory's own internal standards are themselves assessed. Next we can see reference range. The biochemical tests are usually compared with the reference range. So the reference value are from the healthy volunteers. Mostly the reference range will be same for most of the patients up to 95 percentage. When it goes above or below it is a disease condition. When the result is not within the limit, it has to be sent to the pathology. Next coming on, the biochemical factors affecting the interpretation of result, the discrimination between normal and abnormal results is affected by various pathological factors which must be considered when interpreting any given result. These includes sex of the patients. So coming on for the sex of the patients, the reference ranges for some analysis. So example you can take serum creatinine are different for men and women. Next is age of the patients. There may be different reference ranges for infants, children, adults and even for the elderly. The effect of diet, the sample may be inappropriate if taken when the patient is fasting or after a meal. The time taken when the sample was taken. There may be variation during the day and night time. Next coming, it is stress and anxiety. And these stress and anxiety may also affect the analyte of interest. Then posture of the patient. Redistribution of the fluid may affect the result. Then coming it is effects of exercise. Serious exercise or severe exercise can release enzymes from tissues. Then medical history. When a patients have infection or tissue injury, this may also affect the biochemical test. Then comes pregnancy. The, during pregnancy, the reference range may also vary. And also during menstrual cycle, the measurements of some of the hormones may vary. And during drug history, drugs may have specific effects on the plasma concentration of some analytes.